Hey everyone, it's Graphic Back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about attack speeds of different weapons. Of course, each faction has different weapons that they can equip, and each weapon has a different attack speed. So with this, you're going to level up your combat faster, depending potentially on which weapon you're equipping. So I want to talk about this, and this is a great little post here by Brighter Shores, or on the subreddit of Brighter Shores. You can see Spellsy actually posted it, but there was a lot of different contributions from different people as well, so you can see those sources as we go through. But the first thing I want to say is with the Cryo faction, you have attack speed from fastest to slowest. We actually have the Rapier, of course, number one with the one hand, the flanged mace, and then the short sword. At two hand, we have the long sword, broadsword, and battle axe. At one hand, we have the throwing rings, uh, throwing twin blades, and of course, the metal javelins last. And then two hand, we have the metal bow, the throwing knives, and the throwing axes. So now we have the hammer or the hammer mage. The attack speed from fastest to slowest again is going to be hammer fist, stone mace, war hammer. The two hand is going to be great stone mace, Great Hammer, Double-Headed Hammer. The One-Handed Throwing is going to be Stone Discs, Bolas, and then Throwing Stones. Two-Handed Ranged is going to be Throwing Clubs, Throwing Hammers, and of course the Sling. Then of course we go to the Guardian Faction. The fastest, slowest again is going to be left to right. We have the Truncheon, the Cudgel, and the Club. We have the Quarterstaff, Spear, and Poleaxe. The Light uh, Crossbow, the Javelins, the Blowpipe, and then the Heavy Crossbow, Recurve Bow, and Long Bow. Uh, and then note here, they actually said the baseline use for this was level zero sparring guards in Hopeport. Fastest weapons attack slightly faster than them. Middle speed attacks at the same speed as them. And then the slowest speed attacks slightly slower than them. This was consistent across all classes in weapon types. So it's very interesting to see the attack speeds come into play. I'm excited to see how this all comes into play with PvP as well as content later on that might require uh, you know, different weapons and attack speeds. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in future videos, but I do want to say a big thank you to everyone who contributed to that subreddit post. It is nice to get that kind of information just kind of shared across the community. I will say Brighter Shores has one of the best communities out there so far from what I can tell. So I'm excited to continue to see and learn together as a group on what is the best kind of concept or way to do things as well as you know what all of these weapons all do. So I'm excited to see more and more and get more details and information on the game. And if you guys are as well, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. It's a quick video today. Just kind of wanted to showcase that. thought it was very important. So I'll see you guys all in the next one.